There's a boat show coming up next Saturday in Milledgeville, but these aren't your average vessels. As Suzanne Lawler shows you, one man works really hard to make sure your head turns every time you see his work out on the water. You, you don't think about, you know, how your bank account is or this or that or anything else. You just enjoy life and it's just like a new whole different ball game. And life looks a little different, more nostalgic when you ride with Thomas Neff and his partner Brenda Highsmith. I can't get and describe how awesome these boats look and how the people take such pride in their boats. Speaking of pride in their passion, Thomas has a four car garage, a shop and a yard. And it's full of boats. The retired plumbing contractor spent the last 35 years restoring the wooden beauties, bringing them back to life. This is what they look like though when they land on his property in Baldwin County. That is a 1905 launch, which is made by Steinway people that made the pianos. Every vessel has a story. That was in a boathouse here on Lake Sinclair for 32 years and never hit the water. This is a two, 265 cubic inch race boat which came the other side, out of the other side of Atlanta. This is a standard 283 engine, which was in the Chris Craft speed boats from about 19, the first ones were put in in 1960. He could go on and on with no plans of slowing down in his golden years. So I'll be 80 years old in May. He takes out over a thousand screws by hand just out of the deck alone. But let me tell you, every screw that he digs out, he loves them. He just loves them. I just worry about getting the boat done and enjoying what I'm doing, and it just keeps you young. He's as young and vibrant as the shiny slats that now glide across the water, thanks to his handiwork. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Thomas says he built his first boat at the age of 10 and shoveled snow to buy the engine. Thomas says he will be giving free boat rides at the show next Saturday. It's going to be at the Little River Marina in Milledgeville from 10 until 3 and admission is free.